Well, I am um, I'm Dr. Scott Douglas. I'm a family doctor and uh, also a, a past college wrestler. There are some uh, some risks in wrestling, and one of them being uh, what weight loss does to our body. Um, certainly, good physical condition and a good body weight uh, is uh, is healthy for us. But there are uh, some situations uh, in wrestling where wrestlers will uh, sometimes cut more weight than we would feel is healthy. And uh, there's really a couple different issues. One is cutting weight rapidly by severe calorie restriction. Um, that sometimes backfires because when we restrict calories, our body has to get energy from somewhere and the, the place we start to get energy from is through the metabolism of our muscle. And so uh, in some cases, if wrestlers are uh, cutting a large amount of weight in a limited amount of time, uh, we sometimes end up lo losing muscle mass, which is of course detrimental to good performance in wrestling. You know, back when we used a sauna and plastic suits to get water weight off. Um, uh, I, I can recall a couple occasions where we had wrestlers with, uh, with very significant tetany where the muscles tighten up and, uh, and yeah. contract and, and then they can't function. We pulled back in uh, from the Pizza Hut run, and uh, we started doing we started running sprints across the uh, the field house. And I next thing I remember is trying to get up the ramp and collapsing. I couldn't even walk up the ramp. And that's when uh, Connor Bromick came up behind me and tried to lift me up to get me up the ramp, trying to, trying to get me to keep on going, but I just couldn't. I had I took a couple of guys to help me get to get me up there, and. Uh, I had to go to the bathroom because I felt like I was about to shit myself. And uh, I got in there and sat on the toilet. But by the time I did, uh, I sat there. I was able to manage to close the door. And uh, Coach Boyer came in there with me to make sure I was OK. But I sat in there. And uh, I remember it was getting really difficult to breathe. And my whole body started tensing up like a full body cramp to the point where I was in a fetal position, not sitting on the toilet. And uh, that was really scary because I just kind of started, everything started getting really hazy and tunnel vision. And uh, Boyer kept on trying to talk to me and I tried to respond to him, but eventually I couldn't even hold myself up in the toilet anymore to where I fell over. And then I stopped responding to Boyer. And that's when he decided to kick the door open and get me out of there. And uh, he eventually helped me out of the bathroom, but I couldn't really walk on my own. So Erwin came over and ran and eventually picked me up like a baby and carried me down to the trainer's room. Uh, that's where Elizondo gave me sugars and liquids and all kinds of things until the ambulance got there. And then I remember getting to the ambulance and them sticking three or four needles in me just to try to pump me with different fluids. And uh, Erwin rode with me in the ambulance down to the hospital and uh, while I was there, the nurse was trying to get all of my information, like my name and social security, but I couldn't remember any of it. I didn't even really remember exactly what happened until, hell, maybe a week later, exactly what the, what happened to me. But uh, I mean, everyone was with me the whole time. They ended up pumping about 2,000 cc's of fluid in me, if I remember right, and that's that's a two liter, that's two liters of uh, saline, I think, that they put into me. But yeah, it was, a, it was a scary situation. I felt like at one point I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> Maybe that's a little over dramatic, but I do know that uh, now that dehydration is a super, uh, really serious thing, and uh, I was in serious need of uh, help at that time. And uh, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't even walk on my own. I couldn't remember anything. So yeah, that's that's my story about uh, my first practice ever with Wabash College Wrestling Team. Good. Start off the year right. <laughs>